Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I am doing an open cup acrylic pour. This is actually a pretty fun and unique technique. So to explain my setup here, I'm using a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I will be doing this technique on my cake spinner. You don't have to, but I like it. I think it's better. <laughs> and I am adhering um, the canvas to the cake spinner with some small pieces of double sided sticky foam tape. As a note, I also have a shower cap on top of my cake spinner to help keep it clean. Now I will be using a three ounce tiny plastic cup for this and I'm cutting off the bottom. Uh, we don't actually need that part, but you can feel free to save it for something else. Try to leave at least about an inch or so of the cup to pour through to make it easier on yourself. And then I am starting off with a puddle of white pouring paint. All of the paints I'm using are Mixed Media Girl pouring paints. They're ready to go right out of the bottle. You don't have to add anything to them. And then I put the cup upside down in the white paint. And now I'm adding my colors through the cup. Adding that base of white paint there allows the other colors to uh, basically slide underneath the top of that cup and underneath the white paint as well to give you some really fun cells and reactions. So I am using kind of just a, a wide variety of colors. I was going for kind of spring-ish, but keep in mind that uh, the colors that you put through there the most are gonna be what you obviously see the most. And I used a lot of gold, yellow, and the turquoise, which is turquoise, but it is called turquoise. So uh, use any colors that you would like. It's totally up to you. And you may notice the cup will kind of start to move. That's because there's no suction whatsoever. So if you need to, if it's getting close to the edge of the canvas, feel free to kind of tilt it as you pour your colors through and feel free to tilt it at any time to get that cup closer to the middle again. So here I'm just kind of lightly tilting it to move the cup a little bit away from the edge, but I don't wanna modify my design too much right now. And you can already see these awesome cells popping up. Now keep going until you have enough paint on your canvas. It can be a little hard to determine this, but you'll kind of get to know what is too much after a little while. So once I was done pouring my colors, I moved all of the bottles out of the way. And then I removed the cup from the piece. Now this part's a little bit tricky. I don't like to pull it straight up or you're left with kind of a weird circle of color. So I kind of twisted a little bit and glided along the top of the paint, which sort of does almost like a swipe technique on there. That's definitely optional and there's many ways you can <laughs> remove the cup, but that will make it so you don't just have this boring circle of color left in the middle there. Now, because we're going for some really fun cells in this technique, I do usually like to torch it to get rid of any air bubbles, which can help to open up some, some more cells, uh, but this is an optional step. And now we are ready to spin. So if your design is a little bit off center, which can easily happen with this technique, feel free to tilt the canvas a little bit before spinning so that it's a little bit more evened out or you can just go ahead and spin it if you are ready to go, totally up to you. Now in this case, I actually spun it and then I tilted it to center it a little bit more and then spun it again. Um, unfortunately lost some of the really pretty colors on the outside there and just ended up with a lot of green and yellow and gold basically, but I still really like this. Spin as many times as you need to get it covered. Um, I usually like to kind of touch up my corners in the middle here to help the paint flow. And I usually don't spin it more than maybe about three times, but totally up to you. Spin it as many times as you would like to get your design all stretched out. So here's how it looks wet. It is gorgeous, lots of really fun um, lacing, some cells in there. I do expect this to change a bit as it dries, but definitely pretty happy with this. And then here is how it looks dry. So you can see it, it didn't actually change all that much, but definitely a little more cell action in there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.